Hello everyone, and welcome to The Storyist. Today I will tell you a story about a fine dining eatery manager who learned a valuable lesson about treating people less fortunate than himself. His whole life was ruined after he kicked a homeless man out of his restaurant. Be sure to watch the video till the end to find out what happened and how forcing a tramp out of his eatery changed this manager's life forever. Our story took place in a medium-sized town. Inside the main square, there were many bakeries, cafes, and restaurants, but none were known for having food quite so good as the small upscale luxury eatery built on the very edge of the square. The eatery's manager was a snobby middle-aged gourmet who had dedicated his entire life to the restaurant he had made it famous for its high-class atmosphere and equally high prices. It was well known in the town that to eat at his restaurant, you had to be well-dressed and obtain a reservation weeks in advance. If you showed up not dressed to the manager's standard, you would be rudely refused service even if you did have a reservation. Despite the difficulty of eating there, business was booming. The food was undeniably good and made with the highest quality ingredients. Eating there was well worth putting up with the snobby attitude of one man. To the townspeople, it seemed certain that the manager was a rising restaurateur who might soon leave the town to open up even grander and more exclusive eateries elsewhere. The outskirts of the town, on the other hand, were decrepit and run down. They were frequented by tramps and the homeless. These down-on-their-luck people would go between the towns in the area, looking for work and whatever temporary shelter they could find. Most of the townspeople would try to help, but there were those among them, the manager included, who resented the tramps and wished they would disappear. The manager himself never acknowledged any of the tramps' existence, considering them to be beneath his notice. That was, until one day he was forced to confront them. Until one day, the unthinkable happened. It had been a regular enough day at the eatery the town's upper class had come and gone, and the manager was just getting ready to close up. He had sent the wait staff home and was checking the quality of their cleaning job when a tramp walked through the doors. The manager was stunned. The very idea that such a person would enter his restaurant seemed impossible. His shock quickly turned to horror as the tramp sat down at one of the recently wiped tables. Quickly, the manager collected himself and strode over to the tramp. He could already see the speckles of dirt the homeless man's shoes left on the floor. The manager shuddered to imagine what his clientele would think to see this man sitting in the restaurant. The manager put on the snobbiest, most condescending voice he could and told the tramp to leave, saying that clearly he had gotten confused. The tramp meekly apologized and said that he had hoped there might be some leftovers or wasted food he could eat. He told the manager he hadn't had a good meal in days and would normally never bother asking, but was desperate. With tears in his eyes, the tramp asked the manager to please take pity on him. If there was no food, he asked, could the manager at least spare him some water and a little time to rest before moving on? The manager first began to snort, then broke out into full-on laughter. The idea that this tramp thought he could come into the finest restaurant in town to bake for food and water was hilarious to him. He laughed and laughed, all while the tramp stared silently at the floor. The manager finally caught his breath, wiping tears from his eyes before yelling at the tramp. There's nothing for your kind here. Get out and don't ever come back. And jabbed his finger at the door. Slowly, the tramp rose to his feet he dusted himself off and made his way to the door. Just as he was about to leave, he paused and looked the manager in the eye. The tramp's gaze made the manager uneasy. There was something in the homeless man's eyes, a kind of wounded pride that hadn't been there before, but that now seared into the manager's being. The tramp glared at him and said four words that made the manager shudder. You'll be sorry. With that, he left. The manager tried to laugh off what he said before resuming cleaning and resolving to forget about the tramp. The next day, the manager arrived at his eatery in the early afternoon. He was shocked to find two tramps loitering around outside. He quickly shooed them away before any of his clients with dinner reservations could see them. 
but both tramps said the exact same thing as they left. You'll be sorry. Hearing them repeat what the tramp from the night before had said made the manager uneasy, but he had work to focus on and people to judge. Before he knew it, he had forgotten all about the tramps and their menacing words. That was until the next day when he arrived only to discover three tramps outside his eatery. The manager drove them away, this time kicking and screaming and demanding they tell all their filthy friends that the restaurant was off limits. The three tramps quickly left, but before they did, they all stopped and said the exact same thing. You'll be sorry. The manager yelled that they would be the ones to be sorry if they ever came back and returned to his day. Once again, he pushed the tramps out of his mind and focused on his work. He was sure that they had learned their lesson. That was until the next day when he saw there were four tramps camped outside his restaurant. This went on for weeks. Each day the manager would come to find that there were more tramps loitering about, and each day he would force them to leave, ranting and raving and turning bright red with rage. As the days went on and more and more tramps appeared, and it became more and more difficult for the manager to get them all to leave, word spread about the restaurant's problem and about how cruelly the manager treated the tramps. Reservation cancellations poured in, and for the first time, the manager's eatery went days without feeding a single customer. The manager was forced to fire his staff one by one to keep up with costs and to compromise the quality of his food bit by bit. He lost money every day. Nobody wanted to eat at his restaurant anymore. It had become famous for the arrogance and cruelty of its owner and for being a gathering spot for tramps. Things only worsened for the manager until finally one day it was just him, sitting alone in an empty, dark, and desolate room. The restaurant's power, water, and heating had all been cut off, and everyone knew it would soon permanently close. The manager left his eatery for the final time that night, giving it up to become decrepit and run down like the town outskirts he had once looked down upon. As soon as he left, the dozens of tramps who had been waiting outside poured in, what had once been the town's finest dining establishment became its first makeshift homeless shelter. The former manager watched as his old eatery became a haven for the people he'd once forced out of it. As he passed it day after day, he realized the tramps were right. He had been made to be sorry. His arrogance and refusal to give the tramps even a little respect had been his undoing. What had once been the promising life of an up-and-coming fine dining restaurateur had been made to crumble all because of how poorly he treated someone asking for just a little bit of kindness. If you like this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And make sure to ring that notification bell. We'll see you in the next story.